Hello, and welcome to another stream. I'm... <laughs> I'm Yams, and I'm going to be playing uh, more Clayton X2. Because... I... Couldn't think of anything else to play again today. <laughs> I was going to be doing more um, Tales of Monkey Island, but... I, uh, I'm feeling terrible today. <laughs> I don't know if I could... <laughs> I'm just gonna do something simple. Something that involves slashing things. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry if I'm low energy, if I don't have uh, anything really uh, of interest to say, because that's... Just <laughs> not feeling it. I was gonna pass entirely on streaming, but nah, I kinda wanted to keep up with it. Had a perfect record so far. I'm entirely sure what I'm going to be going after in this. Maybe just a little bit of sorta kind of grinding. I guess that's technically what I've been doing. Don't think of it as grinding in the sense where you're aiming for levels. Uh, just kind of doing it because, you know, each stage is effectively random, so... It's like you're playing a different one each time, to a small extent. Get over here. Well, that's right, we upgraded the character's bow a couple streams ago. She was having a real issue uh, keeping damage out. probably tell by my voice already that I'm not my usual uh, self. I don't know if I actually have a cold, I don't believe I do. I think just a number of things came up. So my commentary is probably not going to be its best, or even all that plentiful to be honest. Try to get an hour in. Just pretty easy to do with this game. I must have missed something. Up and around and down, perhaps? Okay, yeah, here we go. Taking you. Took away 30 from both of my bonuses, but they were at 1 already, so... Oh. Whoops. Oh. Hello, Mac. Along with eyeballs, this stage layout always has a bunch of mimics. It always feels that way. I don't really know if I got any confirmation as to whether or not these things are weak to arrows, but it always felt like it. Mm. Oh hey, just what I needed. Those. 
That was uh, pretty nice of them to stay still the whole time. <laughs> I think one of my guys is on one of those panels where he can't be healed, so he's pretty much done for anyway. Yeah. He's not a character I actually use though, so I'm not too bothered by it. What I am bothered by is... those bird enemies. Well, bird adjacent. They fly, they have beaks, it's... But these things are very clearly frog adjacent. I just don't know. It's a lot less... I don't even know where I'm going with this. Oh, cool. Raiders. That gives attack, I think. Finally. Oh, well, that actually was a pretty good, uh... Little sorcerer slab, too. I was just gonna have to pure cash payout, but that's cool, too. trying to come up with some kind of caption for this uh, stream. It was going to be something along the lines of Sleepy Spuds uh, short stream. No. It had a lot more words that started with S in it, but I forgot it before I actually wrote the title for it, so it's already gone, I think. That's fun, that's fun. Wish YouTube streaming was just a little bit more easily, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? Discoverable? I'm not even saying that on my own part so much as just in general. It's a little lackluster as far as, uh... Strangers finding people who are currently streaming is concerned. I mean, as far as regular videos go, yeah, it's not bad. Obviously, the algorithm uh, is wonky at times, but it has a high tendency to seemingly recommend videos people have already seen. <laughs> Which isn't to say that some aren't worth rewatching, but I feel like more often than not, you're probably going to be wanting something different to see. As for the actual streams go, yeah. I don't know, I think maybe my entirety of using uh, the site, I maybe have uh, see, actually seen a recommendation for an actual live stream that was currently ongoing, um, maybe once from a non-subscribed <laughs> um, uh, channel. Like, I'm subscribed to some of that stream, it's just... Obviously, you're going to receive recommendations from them. That doesn't really help as far as discoverability goes. I feel like my voice is even more off than normal. I feel like I'm being very scratchy, extra low pitch, but... <laughs> that's just the... Part of that's just the sleepy more than anything sick-related. Oh. Should get hit twice there. Ooh, big yawns, sorry. <laughs> Trying to keep those keep those quiet. I'm not entirely sure when the mic picks up on them or not. I have a little audio bar for reference to see if my sound is going through, but sometimes it's just out of sight. And I have a really bad tendency to place uh, bottles of water or whatever right in front of it. <laughs> Plus nine.
Wait, plus nine? Did I read that right? Must not have. Now well, Derek's dead, but I mean, come on, Derek always dies. Yeah, that's uh, quite a few dead eyeballs. Man, who was I thinking of the other day? The conversation came up, and I don't believe it was on stream. It was about the eyeball villain in the Kirby series, and how he's one of the most recurring characters, along with uh, Wispy Woods. Well, I say recurring characters, I mean recurring, like, non-story or the obvious ones, like uh, DDD and Meta Knight. Krakow, I think his name is? Yeah. Probably a name they wouldn't have gone with in today's uh, day and age, but... Krakow was always really cool to me as a kid. He was like, oh, it's a it's a big scary uh, cloud with spikes, but it's also an eyeball. I'm not entirely sure if Krakow is... The eyeball has the same name as the cloud. I mean, it's the same character, I believe. I don't know why I'm going on about this. This gives me something to talk about. As I've regularly mentioned, there's only so much you can really say in a game like uh, Clay the Next 2. Well, Ranjin titles in general don't shh, don't typically give you a good topic of discussion. For the love of just. Oh, one on the side, sure. Uh, I should not have gone after those chests, it did not pay off. Fire. It might be. I'm not gonna be spamming it though because I don't exactly have a lot of the resource. The uh, SP. Ah oh, darn. I don't know if you can hit two enemies at once with that. Side by side like that. Normal limit generator. Uh, arrows seem like, by nature, they only hit one. And, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Oh. Sure. I don't know why I'm doing this. I never know why I'm doing most of the things I do in this game. Oh, you probably caught the- oh, you did. I have fury. This is not worth anyone's time, but... Guy's gotta have his revenge. There we go. 
wait for you to attack first. Elite soldier. I'm realizing now that some of these items I have, while good, probably don't actually have the mana space for them. Arrows can go through multiple enemies when you charge them, but I don't think they can hit two enemies side by side, just because of how narrow they are. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe if they're aligned like that. Why does you being on fire equal healing the enemy? Or is that only true if they're a fire enemy? Or rather, a red enemy like this one? Still not fully getting the logic. If you were using a fire attack on them, sure. That, that kind of is how a lot of games work. Okay, next up. Oh, HP was healed. Thank you, merciful game. Yeah, I was gonna do the next part of Tales of Monkey Island tonight, I think. Was it tonight? Yeah, either way, I, I just couldn't. Although I guess it doesn't require too much reading considering everything is said aloud. Normal able effect... Nothing up here. I wonder if I talk too much in my regular streams. That might be a thing. It kind of just seemed like the thing that people do, though, so... Whatever. Trying, I've been trying to stay awake all day, but I've also been sleeping a lot all day because... Uh, like, I've been trying to, but I've been failing in the process. Uh, I just don't know what's up with me. Usually the cat's around whenever I'm not feeling well, but he's been AWOL today, so... Maybe he thinks I'm faking it. <laughs> Animals can be really good at that for the most part, though. Dogs, even cats, can be uh, very attentive when they know you're not feeling well and just kind of want to be around you. It's very uh, heartwarming to see that kind of thing. Plus 10, oh good grief. This is the 10th floor? Oh no, eight, only 8th, okay good. Oh wait, no, this type doesn't have uh, boss fights, right? Okay, yeah, he's, he's immune to fire. Not healed by it, just immune to it. guys. Well, 
there's one of them down. Oh, she must have hit a speed panel or something, because good grief. Oh, the Dongo's dead. Maybe he disliked all the smoke. I don't know if I've made that terrible line before. I mean, lately, lately. Well, that was my last uh, use of that spell. Why am I still fighting these? I mean, I guess they give money, but... I don't think I'm short on money by any means. I have over 30,000 now. The right timing, I can hit her twice. That's pretty cool. Well, with a charge attack. These things are just so bloody bulky. I gotta find some new games to play. <laughs> Well, I guess I did start playing, um... I can't even think of the name of it now. Sort of that building game. Auto... um... no. No, I can't think of it. <laughs> Yeah, me and Polly. Oh, most of them, actually. Only one didn't. Derek, was it? <laughs> Derek's job is to just kind of sit there. Actually, he plays an important role of sitting on the, uh... Sitting on the circle and being able to have stuff equipped to him. Yeah, because Martha doesn't have enough mana for that. <laughs> Alright, uh... No, you don't have enough, uh, enough new mana for too many upgrades, I don't think. Oh, we need to look at the items. Oh, well, I guess this works. We got a lot of these. Ability effect up. I don't really know how much of a... Up. Let me... Rank order. Yeah, that would help. I actually have a number of those equipped. I'm a little surprised. I wouldn't have thought so. reason in holding on to the lesser ones. Well, if you have enough circles and enough slots and stuff, sure. SP orb and counter rate, huh? That's not bad, but I don't see myself equipping it for mana cost. Okay, ability effect up 27. So that's one of the things I got from that last run. The question is, uh, why on earth I would have that equipped for 80 mana? Which I feel like is more than some of my characters have total. Don't use the magic. These look like burgers, almost. Maybe I'm just, maybe it's the color blindness, maybe it's me being hungry. I think I had lunch today. I'm 
Shelter Castle. Holy. Well, that's, uh, that's interesting. This is the next rank up after uh, Steel Fortress, which is all part of the little uh, walls and um, brick-ish things. Well, the Dragon Troop is a higher rank of these uh, little, uh, guys here. Hand generator. Forbidden in 43 states. Main character SP up. Oh, so you can equip this to someone in the ring and that increases the uh, the one you're actually playing. I assume? Well, that's interesting. These other ones are... Oh, they're just the same, they just go by different names. Definitely don't need all of these. <laughs> joint. Um, I'm curious what makes that joint. What, what uh, effect is it that gives it that title? Alright, I, uh, oh, I still got a whole bunch more stuff. I, I, uh, cut off some of my, uh, items the other day, but... Got quite a few remaining. Well, I mean, obviously. Attack, defense, walk, plus? Sure. Probably don't need you at all. Should probably just try and sell some of the uh, blatantly inferior stuff. Or inferior rank stuff. Oh, these are these are staves. I haven't really used these before. Power of 33, 31. Not really sure what. Yeah, I don't know how staves work. So power 17. Uh, that sounds inferior. Some wait, oh, twelve. Uh, and... I'm mostly just looking at the power and stuff, uh, attack rather. Some of these don't have too much difference. I'm trying to. It's a little difficult to decide on whether to sell them, but I just inventory is such a mess. You can only see four items at a time, and I like fifty of them. Wait, currently equipped one of these? I can equip a colossal. Colossal seems uh, superior in every regard. Oh no, you don't have that equipped. You have uh, this other one equipped. Which is higher ranked than the Colossal. 
Yeah. Well, the Colossal might actually be better regardless, just because it's got... Um... It's got better range... Better crit... Better speed... <laughs> Oh, wait, the Orich Alchem. Uh, hmm. Uh, this might actually be an uh, even better pick. Uh, oh, four higher attack, that alone, five extra crit. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, never mind what I said before. This is, this is the way we're going. Uh, actually, I'm really starting to doubt it, but let's uh, check to see if you got anything uh, shield-wise. That's an upgrade as well. Rank order. Yes, this does still seem to be the best pick. I'm not doing a very good job actually searching, but... Oh wait, uh, this is... I guess what do we have here? We have 12 defense, 3 walk. I mean, that's only 14 uh, defense and zero walk, but... Eh, sure, let's put on some sexy leather. <laughs> that'll... That'll get everyone noticing. What am I saying? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> that's eight mana. Magic effect up, ability effect up, okay. For ones that pertain to ability. Oh well, can't afford any of the uh, upgrades for that. Sub character HP up, okay. Oh wait, that was 40 up. What was this one? Oh, 45 up. Oh, okay. I misread something. If I give you this one, you might actually die after Brad. Actually, I don't remember. Brad and Dodongo have a complicated history of... Although I guess Brad doesn't die too much, not compared to Derek, right? I don't know, I'm, I'm not, still not awake. <laughs> well, I don't mean that in the sense that I'm still sleeping, I mean that more in the sense of that's just how today's been. <laughs> I only have 10. Main character SP up 15, that's 9. Yeah, that's good. The smallest of upgrades count. Sometimes. This sword looks pretty cool. I don't know what the tip has on it. It's got like relish or something. I'm gonna go on a limb and say the devs did not design that to make it look like it had relish on it. I mean, maybe. You, you never know with uh, some people's sense of humor. This guy's right, sword. <laughs> Just adjusting to uh, weapon types. Actually a pretty good uh, increase that time. <laughs> I think I was still hovering around the average of one and one uh, almost through the entirety of that uh, first run through. <laughs> went on some kind of tangent about uh, my curiosity as to whether uh, 
your RNG was determined at the time of you accessing it, or um, from the very beginning of your stage start, uh, your your run start. I've always had a curiosity about that kind of thing in video games. Things like uh, perfectly breeding uh, Pokemon, for example, for their uh, highest stat potential. Well, something I did quite a bit of uh, several years back, uh, especially in Pokemon Black and White, I think. Which was just before uh, getting the perfect, uh, per a perfectly bred Pokemon uh, started to become kind of uh, ridiculously easy. I think black and white did make it easier, but it was more through abusing the uh, RNG seed and stuff uh, rather than uh, intentional mechanics. I think Game Freak just went, oh screw it, and decided to uh, give us uh, that one item that allowed you to take several shortcuts. But this isn't a Pokemon stream, so I won't be going on about that any further. I do need to start another game though, I don't know what. I'm thinking I'll find one uh, when I'm done with Tales of Monkey Island. Which will be probably four streams from now. No, uh, well three streams from now, because my next stream on uh, Sunday will be starting Chapter 5 I think. Nice, I slipped through it. Was I already up here? No. One of the ways I like to tell whether I've been uh, to an area before or not is because uh, I usually try to exterminate everything in a path. <laughs> Little shortcuts like those to help with my very, very poor memory. <laughs> One frog always tells a lie, the other frog always tells the truth. I don't know. It's some sort of vibe like that, because these frogs very uh, frequently seem to spawn directly next to each other, uh, with two chests in between. I think it was one of those on just the last run. You can slide uh, pretty far. You lose uh, control over your character immediately upon touching one of the gates, but you can continue to slide through them, which is cool. I oftentimes do that just for the sake of doing it. Oh wow, I took out the other one too. I guess they're still fairly low level. Hmm. Where exactly have I not been? I don't think about up here yet. There's one gate, so that's a good sign. They oftentimes are clumped together if you hadn't noticed. At least reasonably close to one another. <laughs> the cat walked in the room, noticed I was uh, at the desk, and then promptly left. And they can have quite a bit of character sometimes.
I don't know if these things can be specifically facing one another when attacking. I kind of assume they're uh, immune to each other's damage. If that were the case, anyhow. Because they always seem to be either not directly parallel, uh, or... Um, diagonal. Or not facing each other when they are parallel. I don't know why I said that. I guess there's not too much I can specifically say that relates to this game. Aside from it's very... Uh, not disturbing, but certainly different story. Seems like a story that's been done before, but not in the same tone. Where am I going? I... Okay, there's one gate. There's an exit. Alright, Gamblegate. Don't have any other... Oh my, plus Monster Level 10. That's, uh... Well, not as high as it got last run, but... I'm running low on fuel, so to speak. You can probably tell by how sleepy my voice is sounding. <laughs> Oh boy. I hate this dispel, this whatever you want to call it. Oh, that's right, and it treats you, like the fire treats you, uh, it either heals or makes fire enemies immune to your effects, but the, the slippery thing does the same thing to water element enemies, I believe. Vista. Yeah, the computer I'm using right now actually replaced my Vista computer. To be fair, I hadn't actually used the Vista computer in years upon years, but <laughs> I had just been a laptop person up until this point. I really need a computer desk chair though. <laughs> Uh, something that you can have a little bit more control over, because I'm at, uh, it's a very ch tacky chair that has a, has a very, uh, I guess 80s feel to it? It's an old chair, I'll say that much. Anyway, it's fairly large, fairly heavy, and you have to actually... You can't really do much uh, as far as adjusting <laughs> while you're at the computer. I think just a standard, regular chair. <laughs> um, this has been Yem's chair discussion. Thanks for coming. Fur coat. I don't believe I've uh, gotten one of those before. Hmm. Mm hmm. Alrighty. Gotta go fast. No, when you say it as a, in such a depressing tone as what I just did, it kind of loses whatever uh, meaning it had.
Yay. <laughs> Even my yay sound depressed. I'm not depressed, I'm just not feeling good. <laughs> he got stuck behind my sword, I think. Hitboxes can be kind of weird in this game. There's been a few instances where uh, it's like, there's no way that guy hit me. And there's also been instances where I think to myself, there's no way I should have hit that guy. <laughs> Part of this is, uh, this game is, uh, upscaled, not upscaled, um, it's stretched. The big ginormous pixels you see, uh, is probably normally about, like, imagine if this, uh, game stream was, uh, your full screen, which is what it is for me on my other monitor. Normally it's about only, uh, a sixth of that. <laughs> it's not particularly big. <laughs> Oh, I didn't mean to slide through you, but okay. Oh, plus ten. That's... That's not great. Just ignore you. then. Okay, good. It's a little, it's a little tricky to be dealing with uh, more than one at a time. When they're off sync anyway. When they're pretty well synchronized, it doesn't matter. There's an escape gate. I think I'm just going to take that now. Well, let me look around a bit. Oh, no, don't have enough mana to use that attack again. I don't actually know if... I don't think anyone died this time. That was actually a uh, first. I am, however, going to swap to Polly again, just because she's always the lowest level of my three for one reason or another. Let's go to the next and last story level of this chapter, I think. I don't know if I'll be able to beat it, though. The champion is most formidable. Look for support from those who would fight on your side. sure how to interpret that. Oh. Alright, they both noticed me. Some of the enemy AI is so hilariously easily abused with uh, archers. These guys seem to be a little bit different from the uh, archer um, people thing. Yes, yeah, this was a very yams description. I give my brother such a hard time when he was a kid because he was even worse at describing things. Because in his sense, saying the blue made perfect sense because it was something that was blue. But to someone who didn't specifically see the blue thing, they'd have no idea what they're talking about and he'd always get frustrated as a result. <laughs> Obviously, he's become significantly better as an adult now, but still. This guy's pretty low level. Although, to be fair, this could be a very long stage, so... I don't want to make it too difficult. <laughs> 
Well, too much more difficult than the story already is. Without grinding, which is passively what I've been doing, this would be a very difficult game. <laughs> Ah, crud. They've got a wider area of effect than I do, obviously. Tech's just barely missing. <laughs> yeah, Derek's gone. Stay. This is so very frustrating. <laughs> Attack and only like a quarter of them actually hit because of the, the very, very poor, um, well, I've said it before. At least these things always come up to me, uh, adjacent. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead in half. Oh no, can't go back to heal again. <laughs> oh no, there's these. Very merciful game. I say right before I get inevitably killed. Oh, one of these is gonna be a mimic, isn't it? Elven Shield, I think that's inferior. Common Rod is... well, I mean, it's, it goes by the name of Common Rod. I can't picture it being too great. Am I in looping? Like I had to hit one of those differently, right? How about this one? Nope, that's not it either. Well, this is... Uh, I hate guessing and checking, but that might be the only way to do this. Oh wait, no, never mind. How did that miss you? Well, you're almost dead. attack go right through you? Either you had very long invincibility frames after that attack, or you're cheating. <laughs> oh no, he's got a red K. Maybe he's also invinci uh, invincible against fire. Normal Mega Dark Wing. I don't know anything that's normal about something called a Mega Dark Wing, but whatever you see, game. Where am I going? 
It goes right here. This is just a big loop, right? Oh, okay, no. Yeah, alright, never mind. I did something right. It's no good, Polly. We're in super deep doo doo. I hear the beauty death glutton is heading toward the final dungeon exit. This has gone from bad to really, really bad. It's manageable when it's still in the dungeon, but if it reaches the end, your hometown, the whole world will be in danger. You have to stop before it can step into the light of the world. Polly asks him where the dungeon exit goes. Where? Well, obviously, that's confidential. Ugh, as if you couldn't be any more suspicious, Parchman. Parchman. I know life here is uh, free and easy, but you're still a prisoner. Don't forget that. <laughs> Ugh, you have to take this seriously. Seriously serious. Death Glutton is one tough mon- I say mother or monster. <laughs> Hundreds have hoped to slay it. Hundreds have been slain for their trouble, and I'm sure on my first few attempts I will also be uh, slain for my trouble trying to fight that thing. It's never been defeated, but one group managed to seal it away uh, with their dying breath. That's still pretty amazing, don't you think? Were those the player characters of Clayton 1? Because I don't actually remember the story of Clayton 1. Polly wonders aloud, can I really defeat Death Glutton? Of course you can. You've got a chance to become strong and take it down. But I'll counting on you here. Oh, feel free to text, uh, uh, feel free to tell the three blind mice about it. Not that I'm expecting much from them. I see, Death Glutton is heading for the exit, huh? Well, I'm sorry, but all I can do is stand aside and see how this plays out. I simply can't wield the weapon myself. Mm, exactly as the manual predicted. You should never have started killing monsters in the first place. Oh, the manual I mentioned is a book Parchman gave me. It talks about Death Glutton in great detail. Picora, you saw a picture of Death Glutton, right? Oh yeah, it's got wings, it's all big, scary, dark, and it was just way scary. I think I read scary twice somewhere. Sorry, uh, my, my tiredness is being more evident than normal. <laughs> There's no way to fight such an awful thing. Everything says it's just better to avoid it. Right, Witter? You guys are still babbling about that? Grr. Eh? No opening for me to attack at all. Butter? Grr. What happened to the black dog? Encyclopedia says it's supposed to be a benign monster. That's right. Encyclopedia Parchment gave me tells about talks about that. With this book you can learn pretty much anything. That's true, man. Reading books is the most peaceful option. Polly, wouldn't you agree that weapons are the source of the world's woes? Mm. Polly. Hey, Polly. I... Actually, for you, I really... I just really... Picora, where are you going? Sorry, never mind. Forget I said anything, Polly. Over here, Moten. You can now visit a new dungeon. Mm, let me do another... Uh... Trigen.
I don't really have anything I feel like accomplishing beyond that today. I didn't think that was going to be the final level, but it definitely seemed like it's leading up to it. Then again, these are all so short, it's difficult to tell. Like, if you were to take out all of my, uh, messing around with the random dungeons, this, uh, stream series would probably be, uh, maybe two installments instead of this being the 13th. Although then again, grinding is almost uh, necessary for uh, progressing at uh, some of them. Difficulty spike is pretty uh, high in a few. I had one stream where I died like six times on the same stage, so... That's definitely uh, a thing. <laughs> Even more tired than normal right now. <laughs> Ideally, I keep hitting angel gates that give me good uh, buffs for um, the item quality and rarity and drop rate or whatever, but that's a little uh, unrealistic optimism. <laughs> Oh, hey. Two in a row. I guess that's actually not too bad. Hey, birdie. Darn it. Match uniform? Uniform that matches? Is it composed of matches? You take a matchbox racing? Is that the only set of... Uh, that might be. Alright. Well, her turtle's down. Well, that would help if I was facing the right direction. X EXP ERT. <laughs> Estimated how far that thing can shoot. Um, no, there's. All right, this one, I suppose.
Okay, I'm going gate. Trying to avoid those, but I keep kind of resorting to it because there aren't too many better options. I sometimes try and time it just right, but <laughs> it's one of those things you'd like need to be uh, frame perfect on, I feel. <laughs> I mean, it lasts for more than one frame, it's just not something I think you can really control with, uh, timing. Ah, oh, crud. Gotta wait for this to run out. I bothered with them. Part of it was ups was how upset I was that I actually got hit by that. <sighs> Just gotta keep moving along. Stay awake too. I'm not putting anyone watching this to sleep. I guess I wouldn't be too insulted given how I'm feeling. <laughs> That's really bugging me. Audio's still going, right? Yeah. Satisfactory. That is the game I was thinking of earlier. Yeah, satisfactory streams will probably be, uh, I'll be doing that again on Monday. Maybe. I mean, I can't promise that. I kind of wanted to start uh, another game, but I'm going to hold off on that until um, I finish the Tales of Monkey Island series, which should be the end of uh, next week. Unless the games decide to cause me trouble, like <laughs> Chapter 4 did. Episode 4? I can never remember. The two gates that I would pick are the ones I can't access because this one is blocking their way. Yep. And there goes more of my uh, item numbers. Item chances. Oh, I thought the one uh, rushing at me was a mushroom enemy for a second. That threw me off. Like, you guys could move this entire time? <laughs> Why am I fighting these? Uh... Good question, me. a very good job at strafing just out of my range. Well, except for when they don't. Wait, where's the angel gate? I think I saw one somewhere back here.
Or was that the last floor? Am I just maybe imagining it? Oh no, it is right here. Okay, cool. Heal my HP too, I appreciate that. Eighth floor. I do YOLO a little bit and uh, try and kill them before their attack animation goes through and I get hurt. <laughs> Like that. Well, I guess that one wasn't really charging up. That wasn't a very close call at all. And the last two times I got hit there was just because I was stupid rather than me thinking I could beat it. out of the way there. Up here? Oh, there's one of them. Ah, uh, sure, this one. up there. Well, okay, yams, how many uh, traps can you step on? Okay, there you go. It's not worth me chasing after it. <laughs> I mean, probably not. I could have immediately taken that gate, but I'm like, oh, I oh, took out over half its health with a single shot. Surely I can... No, no, I couldn't. It was not worth sticking around. <laughs> There's a boss gate here, despite me thinking this kind did not have them. Guess it's just random? That's a lot of healing panels, that's a shame. And I only have one ally left, I definitely should have just exited. Oh, no, okay, it healed me, that, that works. Horror area.
Angel Gate took me to the horror area. That's uh, not the most angelic thing of you. It's probably preset. Although I feel like taking the normal gates, whatever they're called, ones with a very rounded arch, uh, those consistently take me to the area with all the uh, trap chests and the uh, eyeball monsters, I think. Or maybe I'm thinking of a different gate. Either way, that has led to recent hesitation picking them, despite me frequently picking them still, because they're better than having the enemy levels raised by like 30. Hey, enemies. Thank you for not attacking me while I'm going through the gate. <laughs> from the orc monsters, because they just break through that entirely. You are being annoying. When they're synced, uh, or close to synced like that, they're not so bad. Just go away already! <laughs> How much health does that thing have? Much more than this guy, I'll say that much. Took like two and a half times more shots. Also nice, for the same reason. <laughs> They're just gonna stay there. I'm not gonna complain. behind me doing that, but still. A skeleton shield. That might be an upgrade. Although with a name like skeleton shield, I feel like it's going to come with a major drawback of some kind. Oh uh, yeah, I think I might want to just call this one quits. They can just like follow me indefinitely, or if they get lost after a certain distance, or if I mean, walls have shown to throw enemies off sometimes, but they still try and chase me.
I've got about as much health as uh, that one other enemy. Which is a little sad on your part. You seem like a much higher ranking enemy. Or like this guy who has way, way, way more. You're higher level though. I guess. <laughs> you work with the same AI. I don't know, that's where I came from. Do I have a regular escape gate? I don't think I do. And if I did, it just sort of zoned out. Another fury area, huh? Edit mage wand. Well, you're scary because you can freely move, unlike those guys. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna exit just yet, because I do kind of want to attack some more of these dudes. I might just get coins, but still. Exactly complex uh, AI. Well, we go through a standard rotation uh, system, which doesn't seem like it's really trying to be AI, so to speak. So I guess I can't blame them. Okay, but for real, if my only option is this escape gate and that demonic thing, I am taking the escape thing. Way to go, Dodongo. Can't defend my homeland. It's all just too much. If I use my body as a shield, I could defend, like, two max. Two enemies? Whenever, whenever uh, Death Glutton goes, it leaves only debris and ravaged land in its wake. I hope you're ready for what you're up against. Nope. Hmm. Just don't know what's right anymore. Records about this black dog labeled as benign or all these accounts of Death Glutton. I've never seen anything like this. Oh yeah, here. Um... Welcome, P. You can view lots of different data here, P. Um... Oh, okay. I'm like, that's not much data at all. Weapons you boast about. Bone dagger. Armor you boast about. Sexy leather. Big move. Kites you boast about. I don't really... I'm not sure what the standard is for boasting. Neogen record... Okay, my furthest step went down in single run is 18 floors. What's your level? 25? Not really... certain what... 
Yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Transition record? Oh, I hit the wrong. Whatever. Trojan Heaven. Um, I don't really. Chaos. Her name, Wireless. Oh, that's multiplayer. Wait, multiplayer on this? This was a PSP game, wasn't it? It's a fine day. Why don't we go on a picnic? Oh, Brad, what are you? What are you doing here, Brad? You, you, yeah, you guys. You guys are character characters I created. You don't go over there. My discovery of the century. A new bug species has escaped. Why do you stare at me? Are you jealous of my beauty? No, I'm jealous of your revival ability. You die all the time, Derek. What? Yeah, that describes her pretty well, considering I've used her like twice. It's a wine barrel. Some pugnant, bitter smelling liquids pour over it. An experiment with drawing. I keep thinking I want to do this, but then I'm like, nah. Create new characters here, P.O. No, because I'm pretty good with my with my characters. I do kind of feel tempted to make use of the other weapon types. I do have two characters to use weapons I haven't used. I think. Is he a... Wait, is he another sword user? No, he's a spear user. There's also uh, the dagger and staff. Wait. Oh no, you're the edit ones. The edit, the edit type is uh, allows you to, uh, I assume, uh, design them. Uh, it's a modifier that just lets you redesign them like sprites, uh, like you can with the characters just there. It does not feel right playing as him. Wait, where's my um, main character? Oh, here we go. What should I do? Is there anything I can do? Sorry, but I'm just no good. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty much me in a nutshell. I don't remember what this place was supposed to be for. What does it say? Ringo, oh, Ringo-chan, maybe? Look in the barrel with the title, Saga of Arcana, Sela, Volume 3. Serious power has abruptly sealed it shut. I don't think anything of real interest has uh, changed here. I thought that was a staircase for some reason. Oh boy, yeah, I, I gotta, I gotta call it quits now. I just don't think I can go on any longer. <laughs> I was expecting this stream to only be an hour though, so uh, this uh, went on a reasonable amount of time. And I'm gonna save you a second time because, good grief, uh, I've been forgetful with saving things in games lately.
Well, I'd like to thank uh, you for watching, and I'm eventually going to beat this. It might take a while longer still, but most of that just has to go with the pace I've been crawling along at lately. <laughs> I started off pretty fast, but that hasn't been the case lately. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.